Good morning, everybody. It is Valentine's Day morning, February 14th. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's a cold, wintry day. It is not snowing just yet, but um, temperature says it's 6 degrees, but it feels like a minus 13. And we here in Missouri are under a winter storm advisory until Monday. Yay us. But being that it is Valentine's Day morning, I'm going to do omelets for breakfast. This is a recipe I do not think I've done yet on my channel, but it comes out of the Nordic Way recipe book. Um, I'm going to do two variations. One variation is going to look like just a regular omelet due to Jerrianne woke up and her sugars were high, so we're going to not put in one particular ingredient. But let's go through our list of ingredients. And excuse me if this wobbles a bit because I've never had this stand up so high. But I'm going to lower it so you can see the stove. Our ingredients are rolled oats, eggs. You can't have an omelet without eggs. It's kind of weird looking. I'm using black forest ham, but you can use any, any favorite ham. If you don't like black boys, you can use just regular old smoked ham or honey ham. Havarti cheese, you can use Swiss or any other white cheese. That's what the book calls for. Um, you can use any cheese you want. But I'm going to do Jerry's first. Of course, I'm going to set up her plate. Excuse me. What was that, babe? Oh, yes. You can use, to coat your pan, either an olive oil spray or just regular straight up olive oil. I'm going to use a spray because then I won't overdo the oil factor. <clears throat> Turn my stove on. Yep. If you're wondering where the eggshells are going, I have this little trash can for eggshells on my countertop. Little life hack that I learned. My dad used to make scrambled eggs with milk. My father-in-law used scrambled eggs with just a spurt of water. Um, the water I found out actually makes the eggs a little bit more fluffy. Give these a good scramble. that heat up enough. Oh well. Now this is not pushed back all the way, that's why. Oops. It's cold in here today, so I'm glad I'm working out in front of the stove to keep my hands warm. Now, if I was making regular scrambled eggs, I'd be stirring the eggs around, but I'm not. So I'm letting this cook long enough to set the egg and get it kind of solidified.
Now I'm not I'm not normally an omelet maker. I usually just make scrambled eggs, but this is kind of a special occasion and If I don't keep in practice, I'm not I'm not going to be able to do this. I love my little wooden spatulas. This particular set Jerry got me is made out of bamboo. And I've got several different sizes. And they all have this nice little curvature to them. Alright, my little egg looks like it's almost ready to be flipped. Or not. No. Now you can either flip the egg or you can just add your other ingredients in the egg to... Um, make an omelet. I'm not very good at flipping these things. So I just add my ingredients. Brand new package. Oh, what am I doing? Put it in there. Now, depending on the size of your omelet, depends on how easy it is going, how easy it will be to flip this thing or fold it. And I always, always have trouble folding. Oh, not today. At least not this one. I'm actually going to bring my camera a little bit closer because that way you can see a little bit better whoa, what I'm doing. If the camera doesn't want to fall over. There we go. Should have did that earlier. Now, move that off while I give this to Jerry. All right. Well, that's pan staying off the stove so it doesn't heat up too much. I'm gonna start mine. I show you the variants that the cookbook gives us. Put my hand in there. Love you too, babe. Huh? Oh, well, that smells good. Now, I like to experiment. See, my hope, my stove is nice and red. Cookbook doesn't say anything about adding any kind of like seasonings or anything like that. Um, it does say you can put like a fried uh, cherry tomato on top, but. I like a little garlic in my egg. So I'm going to just add a dash of garlic, salt. Yep, that might have been too much, but it's alright. I like garlic. If anybody remembers the old um, movie, Crocodile Dundee 2, 
there's a section in there where there's an aboriginal eating on a flying fox bat and one of the characters asks him how's it tastes and the guy goes nah it needs garlic that's me everything needs garlic so add our spray but here's the variant Jerry did not have rolled oats so I just take a sprinkling of rolled oats let them cook up you can add more if you want but it only calls for like a teaspoon worth of rolled oats tablespoon Jerry remembers better than I do um, yes we have done this um, recipe multiple times I think this is just the first time I've actually recorded myself cooking it um, anybody who has seen enough of my videos and, and if I've seen if you've seen me make this um, recipe I'm sorry that I'm doing it again as you can tell I let my pan get a little too hot go around the edges just to keep the edges from sticking too much and hopefully I don't need my um, exhaust fan otherwise it's going to get noisy in here but yeah I'm going to have trouble with this one darn it my bad my mistake Hey, at least I'm, you know, I'm not trying to hide my mistake. I'm not perfect, I know that much, but I'm not so proud or boastful that I'm gonna not show you my mistake. A lot of these people who um, do videos will try to hide the mistake or make a new one or a fresh one and tell you about the mistake but not show you the mistake. I do this in two different uh, two different ways. One, I don't hide the mistake. I act like this is just uh, me doing my life and talking about it at the same time and not trying to edit the mistakes out. Yeah. This one is not going to fold as easily because, yeah. So, I'll just, you know, my first one always comes out perfect because the fact that the pan's not too hot. I probably should have cooled off the pan. But, hey, we're not perfect people. We're human. So, yeah, there we go. Not a perfect omelet, but you get the idea. Well, as you can tell, one, and I've always said I'm not perfect. My food does not always come out perfect. Um, I'm not a chef. I'm just an average guy who likes to cook. But all in all, still tastes the same. Still, still, still tastes great. Um, but like I said, I probably should have turned off my stove. I probably should have let my pan cool off or use my secondary pan because I've got two pans of the same size but I didn't and that's my folly and still you get the uh, the idea of how to make a Norwegian style breakfast omelet with the oats which adds the healthy part um that in fact you're eating 
you basically, it's an all-in-one breakfast. You've got your protein from your eggs and the ham. You've got your dairy from the cheese. You've got your breads from the oats. It's balanced. That's the whole point of the Norwegian or the Nordic uh, Nordic way cookbook to have balanced meals. Anyhow, um, that is my short breakfast uh, video for the morning. I hope you all have a good day. God bless. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Let's try this again. My phone somehow is mm, the memory is getting too full that I kept on shutting off my camera. Anyhow. Um, I'm just going to make this really short because I'm having issues with my camera and I got to figure out why. Or not my camera, my phone. Um, now that I've spent way too much time in here, I definitely have the food settled and whatnot. I got lost in doing stuff. I, I tried to make a video earlier, but it was over an hour long and I went, no. Um, that was because of the fact that I went down a rabbit hole and um, should not have gone that, down that direction just yet. But anyhow... As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to bring Jerry Ann in here and we're going to start finishing up this room. Um, we're going to move a bunch of stuff around, readjust furniture, clear out some of the clutter. Um, in the springtime, when we get the chance, that cabinet behind me, my H cabinet, is getting moved out and I'm bringing in my old Filipino dresser. So we're switching out two pieces of furniture in the bedroom and in here. Um... That, when it happens, we'll um, talk about it and record it. Jerry's probably going to do a lot of recording on her phone uh, for her channel on our redoing this room. I'm going to work with her. I'm basically going to let her basically be the guide while I do most of the work. It's very warm in here. This room is one of my warmer two rooms. In fact, last night it was so warm in our bedroom that we dropped the thermostat temperature down to 64 degrees and both me and Jerry were not using any of our covers in our room and we had our oscillating fan on our um cold mist vaporizer on and a um room uh filter machine purifying machine on to basically it blows cool air and it purifies the air so we're not choking on dust debris smoke from mom mom smoking has gotten out of hand it's literally causing the whole house to basically get to the point where I can't, I have trouble breathing. Um, but that's a different subject, a different area. So we're going to go, we're going to come in here. We're going to pull a bunch of stuff out so we can move some furniture around. And then we're going to, um, do some decorating and, and whatnot in here. I told Jerry, Whatever her idea is, we're going to talk about it. We're going to work together on it. We're going to um, do things together. Granted, Jerry Ann basically said, it's kind of up to me what the final um, final look is going to be. But she has a lot of ideas. And I know a lot of her ideas have me in mind on when, when this is my room. And when it comes to her craft room, which we're also going to start doing sometime in the near future, um, that's all on her. She really wants to wait until the springtime to do that room because she wants to tear up the carpet in there, just get rid of the carpet and lay down some, um, hardwood flooring. It's really easy to put down type thing. And I'm like, okay, sure. No problem. And then we're going to do the, we're going to go in the bedroom and rearrange furniture in there and most likely tear up the carpet in there as well. So we're going to get started on that here in a second. Um, this video is going to be at the end of my cooking video from this morning so my here's my ending if you all enjoyed today's video um give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments go ahead and put it in the question comment box uh if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then a little bell will pop up and youtube will let you know when i put in a new video so until next time god bless have a good day be safe in this crazy weather bye